Hello, 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 and welcome back to Now Anita. Um, we are here today with another grocery haul. Today I went to Kroger and I spent about $100, maybe about $88. I think it's $88 and some change. But um, let me show you all the things that I got today. Oh, I got all this stuff for $88 at Kroger's. Quite a bit of stuff, huh? Let's get this haul started. Okay, so... Let's start over here because I just dumped everything back here. I want to make some green, so I got, and they only had colored and kale green, so I got two colored and two kale of the purple green. These were two for five dollars, so it's like two fifty each, and it's worth it. You know, when you cook your greens, it's gonna cook down to almost nothing anyway. And I found this. Oh my goodness! I don't know if you watched. Probably you didn't because most people didn't watch my uh, Thanksgiving cook with me but um i got these mini butterball turkey roasts ready to roast and this is just like a little turkey and it's all white breast meat no bones so easy to cook oh my goodness and it already comes in a bag and everything i thought i needed a bag one of those oven bags you don't even need an oven bag everything you need is in here even the gravy but this was $10.99. So since they were saying we're going to have a meat shortage, I'm like, let me get this because we can eat on this for a couple of days. And I can make that like for a Sunday dinner, maybe with some greens. Mm. Anyway, yeah, so I got two of those. Those were $10.99 each. And then I got these um, bird's eye broccoli florets. And yeah, we all need vegetables in our lives. And um I'm getting tired of eating sauteed vegetables, so I got these broccoli. I got some more broccoli downstairs that you can put in the oven, but this is where you can just grab the portion of broccoli that you want and cook it. So I got that. That was good. And then I grabbed this uh, wild Pacific salmon that they had. And um, this is frozen, but it does say it's portioned out already. It says pre-portioned, so I really do appreciate that, but yeah. And this is Aquastar Smart Foods, but it does say Wild Pacific Salmon. So I got this. I think this is about $6.99. So the next thing I got was this uh, Honey Smoked Turkey Breast because I miss being able to just go make a sandwich. If there's no leftovers in the fridge, then, you know, you get hungry in between meals. You can always go make a sandwich. I also found my high fiber bread. I love this stuff. This is this is the only bread I ever want. And the reason being is because it has six grams of fiber in a serving and a serving is two slices. So it's like three grams of fiber each slice. So that's good. Not the healthiest thing, but this has been so hard to find. These uh, Marachan, Marukin. Maruchin? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this um, these ramen noodles. I got the chili flavor. The girls like these. I like the Oriental style. I think they changed it, the name from Oriental to something else. But, oh, soy sauce. That's what they changed it to. I got a, a helper back here. But yeah, I got four of these and these was four four dollars. So, they can grab these as a quick little uh, snack, whatever. They've been eating the cup of ramen, it's like the dollar ones, but you get four for a dollar. Why not use this one? And they can throw some other stuff in it. Moving on, um, we got a little kitty outside. So I got some whole milk and I don't know if cats eat drink cold milk, but my aunt said to give it milk and we only drink almond milk. So <laughs> we didn't have any milk, so I got that. Next thing I got, I keep seeing B Loves make nachos with these, um, not nachos. <laughs> I see her making tacos with these nacho cheese taco shells. And I'm like, hmm, I want to try these. And so when I uh, brown up my turkey meat or my hamburger, I can make me some nachos. Or we can even have chicken nachos if the girls want some chicken nachos because they don't eat ground meat. But yeah, I got these old up past, so I think it's like $2.50 maybe. And another one of my favorites is the roasted red skin potatoes. If you haven't tried these at Kroger's, if you have a Kroger's in your area, but uh, I think they call them 
the, they have uh, their affiliate Kroger affiliates, something else, but I don't know. But the uh, sea salt and cracked black pepper, roasted red potato, red skin potatoes. These are so good and so easy to make. Um, the main thing I went to the store for was cheese. We only have mozzarella cheese and we haven't been making any pizzas but you know kobe jack is the cheese that you usually go to when you want something so i got the kobe jack cheese like if you want to make some macaroni and cheese but i also got this parmesan cheese this is what i can't, went to the store for because we're supposed to make parmesan crusted chicken the chicken is over there in the sink throwing out but at this point i've been at the store so long i think i'm gonna order a pizza <laughs> Does anybody else do that? You go to the grocery store and then you for what you're supposed to be shopping for and then you just don't feel like cooking when you get back. Um, yeah, I got this coleslaw mix. Uh, we don't use it as coleslaw. We take the shredded cabbage and carrots and mix it with the uh, kale. And we make like a kale soup. The kids call it kale soup, but it's just like, it's cabbage. Like you make fried cabbage, but you don't have to cut up the cabbage. They already did it for you. And I think this was a dollar fifty. The next thing, my daughter said she wanted some Texas toast, but you know it was kind of scarce over there, and I didn't want sixteen pieces of Texas toast, so I just got these garlic knots, and I think they might like these. And this is the Kroger brand, also. I think this was a dollar seventy nine. Somebody asked me before they went to take a nap for some, she calls it broccoli rice and cheese, but it's cheesy rice and broccoli. It used to be called broccoli rice and cheese. It used to come in a, a different package, this green giant. And this was two for five, so I got two for the five dollars. I've seen people talk about these bubble burgers and I've been craving a hamburger, but I just don't want to go to like any fast food place and get it. So I've seen people talking about these bubble burgers and um this is just the original but these were on sale the original price was $13.99 and these i got these for $10.99 it's only six in here but i say for $10.99 i think it's worth it hopefully um it's delicious it says cook frozen hmm. i don't know i saw some other burgers but i want to you know i want a good burger every now and then i get tired of eating chicken and fish all the time but because I grew up eating burgers. <laughs> Hopefully that's really good and really good meat. Um, my daughter, she loves these Kroger seasoned hash brown patties. And um, they throw them in the air fryer and they're almost like McDonald's breakfast hash browns. And she loves these. She doesn't like the Aldi ones for some reason. She loves these. So I have to go to Kroger's and get these. And so I got two, so I don't have to worry about running out. Then I thought... My girls, they've been good. They deserve a treat. So I brought a Swiss roll, cosmic brownie, two zebra cakes. I didn't even know about these zebra cakes until my daddy, he, we went to his house one day and he had these. And he's like, the kids must have been looking because they were really little. And they were like, uh, what's that, granddaddy? And uh, he's like, you don't know about no zebra cakes? And he gave him one. Oh, my goodness. We've been loving these things ever since. I I would never even buy a zebra cake before. We would always buy the cosmic brownies, the Swiss rolls. I forgot about the fudge rounds, but I didn't see those. But yeah, I got two of these because they remind me of my daddy. He's so sweet. Every time you know how you go to old people's house. Every time you go over there, they give you something. And this is what I got for myself: this honey bun because those honey buns from Sam's Club were so sweet. So, so, so sweet. But, uh, yeah, I got this for myself. And I think that wraps up the grocery haul. This is everything that I got from Kroger. Yeah, that's everything I got today. So, <laughs> let me start putting this stuff up. And then I'm going to order this pizza, go pick it up, and uh, pick up my stuff from Walgreens and call it an evening. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the uh, thumbs up and hit the bell so you can get notifications when I post. And um, just stay safe out there. It's just uh, really trying times right now. And uh, everybody should just stay safe. And I got my little dirty mask in my pocket. I got to clean this.
But I gotta use it when I go back out to get the pizza or whatever. But yeah. And then we gotta wipe down all the groceries. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.